Hi, and welcome to another episode of Gourmet Cooking for People Who Can Burn Water. Today, we're going to Italian again, and we're making Italian dumplings, otherwise known as gnocchi. Now, we're going to start, you know, with boiling potatoes. Okay, well, well, actually, let me back up just a second here. And so, with the gnocchi, this is actually a really elegant dish that's really simple to make, and you can really impress your guests with. Okay, uh, we're going to be topping this today with a wild mushroom, uh, butter, and cheese topping over the top of it. It was absolutely delicious. But like I said, we're starting with the potatoes. We've taken about a pound of yellow potatoes, chopped them up, and we're boiling them. And now we're going to drain them and mash them. Okay, we've drained the water, and now we're going to mash them until they are smooth. We have not added any milk, water, butter, salt, or anything. This is just plain potatoes. We're going to mash them. Now, if you have a ricer at home, too, you can also rice the potatoes, too. Okay. And once they're all mashed, we're going to leave them alone until they get down to room temperature. Right. The potatoes are mashed and they're cooling in a bowl. And we move on while these are cooling to room temperature. Now we have a little more boiling water. We're going to add some fresh spinach. That's one entire bunch. And we're just going to cook it for just a couple minutes until it's wilted, about three minutes. All right. I have blanched the spinach and I have drained it in the water. And now we're going to add it to our food processor. Ooh, that's hot. <laughs> all in there. Make sure to put the lid on so it doesn't go flying all over the place. There we go. And we're going to puree. Well, <laughs> get the food presser is working, <laughs> so thank goodness I have a blender. So we're actually going to puree the spinach in the blender. Okay, uh, we're now, we have now pureed the spinach, and we're going to add it to the yinoki here. Now I noticed at the beginning of the show I said yinoki, you know, but... You know, you can make different types of yinoki. In this case, we are adding spinach to the yinoki mixture because we like gnocchi, spinach. So I'm going to pour all this puree here. I'm going to scrape the rest out of the bowl. Next, we're going to add three quarters of a cup of flour. Okay. I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt. teaspoon and one egg okay. stirring it all up together get a start here with a spoon and then we're going to dig our fingers into this and mix it all up together into like a dough See, this is the fun part you mix it all up with your hands now I did add a little bit more flour because I did because it was a little sticky, and it's still just a little bit sticky, but it's just fine right now. Okay, it's all very nicely mixed, and now we're going to dump it out on top to a floured surface. And now we get to get our fingers messy again. Yay! Make sure you use enough. And leftovers. Sure, so use enough flour so you don't want it to stick. So we're basically going to cut it into four quarters, and we'll start with each quarter. What we're going to do form it. Into, we're going to roll it into like a snake. About an inch, three quarters of an inch to an inch in diameter. And 
And then we're going to cut it into like one inch cubes, just like that. Okay, so I've cut them all up. We have quite a few, and now we're just going to put a little fork indentation on each one. I don't know why you do this, but that's when you ever you get uh, Neoki, that's how you get it. It's got the little lines in it. So that's what we're doing, too. Now we're just going to let it rest for about 20 minutes. Now, while the Neoki is resting, here we're going to make the sauce. Okay, we've got a medium... Uh, a hot pan on medium heat. We're going to throw four tablespoons of butter and a little bit of olive oil. We're going to add four cloves of garlic. Throw those all up in there. Next, we have a mixture of baby bells and some porcinis and some menashe. Mushroom. We're going to throw these all in here. Stir them up and get them all coated with the butter and garlic. And all coated. Then we're going to turn on low and let them saute and absorb all their lovely mushroom goodness. The mushrooms are sauteing very nicely and we're going to sprinkle some Parmesan Romano cheese on them. We're going to stir them up again. And let them continue to saute. Now we are ready to cook the gnocchi. All right, I've covered the mushroom mixture, the topping, to put it on very low just to keep it warm. And now we're ready to cook the gnocchi. We're going to take, we have boiling water, medium heat. And we're going to throw these in. And you'll know they're done when they float to the top. All right, as you can see, the enoki have risen to the top. So it's time to drain them and serve. All right, the enoki has been drained. And now we're going to add it to the mushrooms. Stir them all into the sauce. All right now, I, I made actually half of the gnocchi here, so I actually put the rest in a Tupperware container. And you can put this, keep this in your freezer for as long as you want, and then pull it out and thaw it next time you want to have gnocchi. Meanwhile. We are done here and we are ready to serve. I know I've mentioned this many times before about smell o vision but here we go again. This smells so good. And there you go. We're going to put some Sprinkle some more, a little bit more cheese over the top. And there you have spinach gnocchi with a mushroom butter and garlic sauce. See you next week.